I had it pre-scheduled, but I don't know. It didn't work out. So I had to, I had to do another one. I had to go another, another route. So hopefully everybody finds me. Let me just find myself here on my iPad. It says your channel. Okay, good. At least, okay, that's the one that's live. Hey, Rose, how are you doing? What's up, girl? Oh, always some problems. I had pre-scheduled this live, and then when I go to choose the pre-scheduled live, then, like, this little circle comes up. So, I don't know. I got to figure that out. Anyway, hopefully everybody finds me over here. Um, hey, Northern Snowbird, how are you doing? Good to see you guys. Yeah. We're going to be working on one of these today, um, my Maps of Peace. This is one that I'm working on right now, but we're going to start a new one. I wanted to do, get two of them done this week because I've been kind of behind on this project because I've been doing other things. Just one second, you guys. I'm going to grab another piece of poster board here. <laughs> Well, it's not really poster board. It's this mixed media paper, uh, 18 by 24. I got it last year for 874. This was like 30 bucks originally or something like that. This year though, they didn't clearance the, um, the paper in the fine art section. I was kind of bummed. I'm like, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. They didn't clearance the Tim Holtz stuff this year at Hobby Lobby, and they didn't clearance the, the paper in the fine art section. I was like, what the world? Why aren't you guys clearancing that? Hey, artsy girl. What's going on? So, we're doing one of these today. Um my uh maps of peace this is one i'm working on right now i have everything um i have everything collaged in i just got to go through and make my marks and you know do my do my thing to it so let me take this one away because that one's almost done we're going to work on a new one today and this is mixed media paper i think it's 18 by 24 let me see let me see yeah, it's 18 by 24. Right yeah, so I'm working on a piece of mixed media paper. I also do these on um, watercolor paper, too. I just like a nice, thick paper that can handle wet media. And so mixed media paper does a great job. So does the watercolor paper. So that's what we're doing here. Let me see. I've seen, okay, I see a bunch of people popped in. So let me check out the chat. All right, bring my iPad over. Hey, Butterfly Mom, how are you, girl? So good to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. Hi, Wayne, how are you doing? Oh, good, Wayne, I'm glad you finally made a live. Very good. Very good. Rose, you like this size paper? This 18 by 24? I know I like making these big poster monster collages. And I'm going to use, um, you know, all my jelly prints. That I make and then also I'm gonna uh, use um, I've been collecting different um, languages from different cultures um, and I'm gonna include those so it'll be like a jelly print and then a language and a jelly print and a language and also Patty uh, Patty Tully Parish um, you guys check out her channel she should probably should probably be popping on here in a minute um, she's another mixed-media artist she's fabulous uh, Patty Tully Parish I usually have her in my description, so you can go check her and just and subscribe to her. Um, she sent me a bunch of great of uh, collage material, her own stuff that she made and some the stuff that she collected. So we'll add that into this collage today. So, okay. Thank you, artsy girl. Okay. Let me grab the stuff that we're going to use today I got a big pile of collage material sitting here waiting I already pulled a whole bunch of stuff Let's check it out there it is 
Do I have enough stuff? I don't think so. No, I do. So let me put this aside. Also, let me get out my glue. And what I use is, I usually use matte medium, but um, I used all my matte mediums up that I got at Hobby Lobby clearance from last year. So this year, they clearanced out the mediums, and they had this stuff called gloss gel. Well, gloss gel is good to like for a lot of different things, but you can also use it as a glue, like a, like a matte medium. So it will be glossy, though, and not matte, but I don't go over the top of mine anyway. So I'm going to use this. I bought quite a few of those. This was... $18.99. I got it for $6.44. Crazy. Crazy good. I was happy this year that they still, that Hobby Lobby still clears out the uh, fine art section, like the mediums and stuff. Because our mediums are expensive. Just a second. I just dropped something on the ground. Okay, there we go. Oh. Whew. It was a paintbrush. All right. I have said too much stuff out. I got to had to put that away. All right. Let me see who else has popped in. Hey Angie Garcia, how are you doing? So good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes, I'm so happy you finally made it to a live. Angie, I love your art, girl. Love it. Angie, do you have a YouTube channel and do you, or do you, are you only on Facebook? Girl, let me know. Hey, Mari, how are you doing? Hi, Christina, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. I'm so glad to have all of you guys. So let me just repeat what we're doing. Okay, wait, uh, Butterfly Mom said, good, how are you? Sorry, I've been gone, glad to be back. Oh, don't worry about it, girl, you were on a world travel tour. To see your friends. I was jealous. I was like, I want to go shopping with with uh, Pamela and Marina. <laughs> to every Dollar Tree imaginable. Um, doesn't, doesn't Angie Garcia, doesn't she rock? I love her art. I always see it. She always posts her stuff um, on uh, Facebook. And I love it. Very good, Wayne. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Natalie, 1808. Welcome in. Glad to have you here. Mari, did I say hi to you yet? I think I did. If not, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. And I'm just looking to make sure. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Glad to see you. Okay, so what we're doing today is I'm doing a map of my, I have, okay, I'm, let me go get my original so you guys can see it, because I have some new people in here. Well, I don't know if you're really new to my channel, but just new to the live, so. Um, I'm going to grab it real quick. I'm creating these um, 18 by 24 maps of peace, okay? And to create these, I use my jelly prints, and then I use, um... I, I, I go on the computer and I collect languages from around the world, okay? Like, um, this right here is, like, Old English. This here, uh, is this Spanish or Italian? The Spanish and the Italian look so close together. This is Italian, I believe, yeah. This right here is, um, Irish. This here is, um, I think Italian. This here is um, a Nigerian, like Nigerian symbols. This is a, a, a map, an African map that I got sent in. Of course, this is the Asian language here. So what I kind of, what I believe, okay, and then, um, yeah, that's what's on this one. So what, why I'm creating these maps of peace, I just believe that the more we all mix and mingle and get to know each other, and get to know each other's cultures, um, the better chance off to have peace, right? When we all understand each other, accept each other, um, the more peace there will be, right? That's what I think. So that's what these maps of peace are representing. Okay, so this is what we're going for. Okay, guys? Hey, Melissa, welcome in. So good to have you. 
Right, I'm just putting that away. And then um, I am going to make some prints of this. I just got to find the best place for me to make the prints because I'm going to be making poster size prints. So I will make prints of these and these will go in my Etsy shop eventually. But I want to first finish the whole series. I want to make at least like, I don't know, 15, 20 of them for a nice series. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, let me just read chat really quick. Thank you, Christina. Christina, did I welcome you in yet? If I did it, welcome in, welcome in. Glad to have you. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Natalie. You know what? Write it down right now. I'm always, I'm always going online and picking up um, um, different cultures. But you are so right. Let me write that down. I need to have Hawaiian. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So that's on the list. So um, when I next time I collage, Hawaii will be in Hawaiian. The Hawaiian people will be in here. I totally agree. Um, let me see. I'm just reading chat real quick. Oh, that's neat. Sweet mahalo is what Natalie said. Cool. Okay, I'm just reading real quick. If I missed anything or missed anyone. Thank you, Butterfly Mom. Thank you, Angie. Oh, you're so sweet, Angie. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's start. Let's start. Let's start ripping up some papers. Um, I have this one here. Oh, and also I do all this, like this jelly print right here will be. Okay, very good, Christina. Um, this jelly print that I did right here, this is a uh Aztec map. Um, this will be in my um God, if I could get it out of my out of my mouth. I have printables, and so this will be in the printables this month. Well, I guess I should say next month, but we only got another day or two, right? So um, this will be in the printables. And I don't I don't have the new printables up in my Etsy shop yet, but um, they'll be up there this week. So, all right, let's use this. <laughs> you like how I just ripped that out? Look how pretty this one turned out. I like how that one turned out. That's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here and this one up in the corner. And I will check chat in just a second. Let me just get a little bit started here. I also have some Arabic language too. So we'll throw some Arabic language. That's Arabic. I have a whole book of this. I found it at a thrift store. And for the longest time, I couldn't... Um, I kept trying to figure it out. Well, one day I was looking at the news and I... I, I'm like, oh, honey, that language right there looks like the book that I bought. Because the whole book, even the title, is all this language. And I believe it's Arabic. I bought it years ago. So I have a whole book of it. It's pretty cool. So we'll put that in. And this right here is a Spanish. Is this Spanish? Yes, this is Spanish right here. So we're going to put some Spanish in there. What is this? Is this Spanish or Italian? The Spanish and the Italian look very similar to each other. I get confused. But if I really read it, try to read it, this is Spanish, this is the Italian. Yeah. If I really look at it, I can tell the difference. <clears throat> so what is everybody working on? Um, either right now or just what, what project are you working on? It doesn't have to be right now, just, you know. What's, what's, we're always working on something. So what are you working on? Are you doing mixed media? Are you doing junk journals, art journals? Are you knitting, crocheting? Because I know I have some knitters and some crocheters that have joined us, which is really cool. So everybody tell me what you guys are working on. Okay. All right, I think I like that. Let me grab some more jelly prints. I kind of like to do like jelly prints and then 
then find some um and then get a language or this african map i got sent this by one of my subbies here which is just fabulous i absolutely love it so i made a bunch of copies of it and this is a map of africa let me just place a few of these down and then i'll check chat you guys and if you guys are want, if you guys are talking to me and you want me to answer a question or um, just to um, read your comment, um, just make sure you put it in caps. Because I know there's a lot of, you know, everyone's talking to each other. So I don't want to miss a comment or a question that's directed right towards me. I don't want to miss that. All right. We've got some cool jelly prints here. These are pretty. And if you've been watching me, at, for, you probably already know this, but I like jelly prints that, um, oh, I like that. I like jelly prints to look like old walls, old doors, like that. Okay. Oh, I'm loving that. We did this one last week for those that were, were here last week. Christina says she's crocheting a blank, uh, crocheting a blanket shawl. Okay, I'm going to read that in just a second. What I hate is um, the, the comments appear on my phone, and then they just go off real quick. I, I wish they would just stay there for a minute so I can... Then I can read them while I'm arting, but I can't... Then they leave too quick. All right. Oh, I like that. You know, I like that. try putting this here do I like that no do I like that there no so it's just a matter of trying things and taking things away till you find out what you like I think this is gorgeous all this turquoise here with all the browns and coppers I think that turned out really really pretty you know, let's get a different shape going like something like that rip this like that and then rip this here and this is another one that I am um, gonna put in the um, printables I think it turned out real pretty so pretty much all the things I'm showing you will be are in the printables for this month which will come out like I said sometime next week oh I like that oh that looks pretty okay maybe this needs to go like that oh i like that or does it going to go like that or does it need to go yeah, like this and i love this this is a technique where you take a jelly print and then you put a um mask type of stencil on top of it and then um go around it with uh, acrylic paint and it comes out really cool I've done it here on the channel or on the live before oh I like that let's just rip the edges because nobody likes nobody likes straight edges <laughs> that's not true sometimes I like straight edges okay let me go check chat okay guys get the garbage from falling all over the floor Okay, let me check chat because I see I see chat going crazy. Let me check it out. See what you guys are saying. Archie Girl says, if we if Angie misses your comments, please repeat it. We never want to miss your comments. Thank you, Artsy Girl, you little sweetie. Hey Rosie, how are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Angie Garcia says, I'm just finishing up another teeny house art journal. Then on to another series of art journals. Girl, I love your journals. Angie, you're the one, right, that I saw on um, Facebook where you made, you did a whole series. And I think you were representing fires, fires that were in your area. I'm not completely sure, but just confirm if this is right. Um, you were making journals, and, you, and, and the covers looked like they had been in a fire. And you made them to look like that. It was really, really, really cool. I loved it. It was beautiful. I mean, it's, I think you were representing like what was going on around you, the fires, which is sad. 
but um the art is absolutely gorgeous so let me know that was you right who did that type of art who did those type of journal covers don't worry rosie no problem thank you butterfly mom yes oh do a series yes okay very good angie i thought that was you who did that yeah i you know i have um i'll show you i have an art journal okay when I did my 100 days of collage with uh, Froyal Arts, um, this is it here where I did a bunch of, this is a bunch of, I'll just show you a few pages. This was when I did, um, I started in this smaller book and then I, I went on to a, a larger book for the 100 days of collage. So these were the collages for the 100 days of collage. I'm not going to show them all because <laughs> there's 100 of them. But these were pretty cool. These were fun to do. I'm going to look at this. It's giving me some ideas, though. Maybe today I will put some feathers in the work. I'll put some of my Tim Holtz looking stickers in it. Um, yeah, I'm glad I looked at this because it gives me some ideas. Maybe we'll throw some butterflies in here. So, anyway, just to kind of show you, this was the 100 Days of Collage. But anyway, I did it in this, this book. I took a regular book and altered the book like I always do. But this is, I did this cover in black and added texture to it because I wanted to do a version of, like you did, Angie, making it look like it had been in a fire. So I'm going to do that on, I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish that up sometime soon on a live here. Okay, let me just continue reading. Okay. Okay, I'm just looking back up at the chat here. Okay. Christina says I'm crocheting a blanket, a blanket shawl, but I've I've started collecting things here and there to start collaging. You inspired me to give it a try after watching your videos. Oh, Christina, that's awesome! Yay! You, I think you'll really love collaging. It's just. I love it. It's so relaxing. It energizes me. It doesn't take any energy away. It just energizes me. It relaxes me. I love it. Oh, you're so sweet, artsy girl. Thank you so much for announcing that. Um, C Rose dishes. Okay, C Rose says she's doing dishes for now, then to the art room to work on my junk journal today. Awesome. Awesome. Natalie is crafting crafting fall decor from Dollar Tree and various DIYs. Yay! Oh, you guys, I am going to do some... I think I'm going to do some fall crafting um, on the live. Most of the time I do mixed media, but um, there's a couple of things. I'm going to try not to go crazy with the fall DIYs. I've been doing fall DIYs for the last four or five years on my channel. That and Christmas. But I'm going to do a few. And the reason I'm not going to do too many is because there's so much mixed media I want to do. But also... Um, I have done so much fall and Christmas decor that my house has been overrun by fall and Christmas decor. So I really need to like, I need to calm down with, uh, creating fall and Christmas decor. I mean, it's, it's to the point where like, I don't really have enough room to keep storing it. So, so it's either I have to calm down or I have to like get rid of a bunch of stuff. And I love the stuff that I made. So Anyway, so I'm just going to make a few pieces. I'll do it on in a live here. And um, that'll be fun. So in the next few weeks, just expect that. I'm going to put that there. Okay, let me, can, can we finish reading comments here? Rosie says, it's too hot to crochet. Just chilling. That sounds good. Uh, Wayne says he's working on some traveler notebooks. Awesome. I love making traveler's notebooks. Love it. Uh, Wayne, have you ever made traveler's notebooks out of uh, placemats? I buy placemats at Dollar Tree, especially the ones that have coffee on them, like coffee mugs and cups and all that. And I make um, traveler's notebooks out of placemats. Okay. I think I got caught up with the chat, I think. Okay, uh, Angie, Grace, Angie, Angie says, um, oh, C. Rose said, Angie, did you used to make jewelry and cards? 
Natalie, jewelry is awesome for mixed media. It is. Okay, um, Natalie said, I would love to see that, Angie, your crafting session. I know I told my husband we need a mansion. <laughs> That's a truth. I do need a mansion for how much stuff I have made for the, for just period, but for all these holidays. Yeah, Angie um, Garcia, share your Instagram. Oh, cool, Natalie. Natalie says uh, someone gave her a bag of jewelry and she wants to collage with it like I'm doing, like I've done. Cool. That'd be awesome. Thanks, Angie. I can't wait to do it like how, some, I mean, not exact way, but you know, you inspired me to uh, to do the, um, to make it look like it been in like, in like a, a fire type of thing. Thank you, Rosie. Okay, Angie Garcia says, yes, that was me. It was my wildfire series. That's what I thought. That, I thought it was your wildfire series. And Angie, I would love to do a fire wildfire series inspired by you. <laughs> okay, uh, Wayne says, I've made them from fabric placemats. Oh, cool. Have I made any from a fabric? You know what? I haven't made any from a fabric placemat. Dollar Tree had some, um, always has some cool ones. They had, um, they had, uh, lemon ones I bought in the, the lemon placemats that are fabric. I bought in the Buffalo check ones, but I never thought to make a, um, traveler's notebook. I make like little pouches out of those. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, Angie says, you should do a wildfire series. You would rock it. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Well, you inspired me. I saw your work and I was like, oh. Um, Lisa says, I use those placemats and string them like traveler's notebooks, but store my jelly prints in it like a signature. Oh, I like that idea. Awesome idea. Okay, I'm going to continue on. I think I caught, caught up on chat a little bit. So let me keep going with this. Do I like that? Yeah, I think I like that. I do things and things can always change. It's just important to get at least your first initial what you're thinking down. And then you can change things in and out as you wish. I'm loving these, these um, African maps. Look how fabulous those are. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I want to get some stuff out that Patty, uh, Patty Tully Paris sent me. Let me just get some of the stuff that she had, that she sent me. Like, she sent me this. Look how cool this looks. I think it's Old English. Isn't that cool? All right, that's going to go in there. Let me just look through my pile. My pile of stuff. We all know Angela has a pile of stuff. Um, these are... Um, um, oh, damn it. What is it? This is cool. Isn't that cool symbols? Nigerian. And it's cool because, um, like I said, I think I told you guys this. I, um, I, uh, my husband got my, like my, not my DNA, but what do you call it? Like, like, so that you know what you are, your ancestry got my ancestry done and his too and um and i'm and i'm very much mostly nigerian so as soon as i found that out i went and found this for nigerian like for a nigerian language which is nigerian symbols which today they still use a mixture of symbols and written language in nigeria so it's pretty cool so it's cool to have my, my own culture and know what my my culture is and I'm putting it in my artwork, so it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is the stuff that Patty gave me. Look how cool this is. I think these are Patty's symbols, like her own intuitive language. Like, I do this too, this intuitive language. And I think this is Patty's. So we'll put that in there. And then this is some Asian symbols. I made cop. These are all copies of what she sent me. Isn't that cool? We're going to put that in there. Look at that. Oh, I just think the Asian language, look how beautiful it is. 
So gorgeous. Okay. I'm such a spaz. I have so much stuff pulled. It's just like, I could do 20 million collages with what I've pulled, okay? All right, let me, let me take some of this off of here because I got way too much going on. I got way too much going on. But I wanted to pull some of the stuff that Patty sent me to, to make sure I put this in here. All right, I'm, this is what I'm feeling right now. And this is how I do it. I just do it by, what I look at what I got, all the stuff I've collected, and what am I feeling? And I'm totally feeling this. Look how gorgeous that is. Ugh, everything. Okay, let me cut this out. We're going to tear it and have, you know, rough edges. But I just want to get all the white edges off of here. Okay, there we go. All right, I love that whole damn thing. All right, let's tear this a little bit up here at the top. What is it with me? I don't know why I do not like straight edges very much. I'm so not with straight edges. I don't know, not know why. Well, that's probably because I like everything all torn and ripped and burnt. <laughs> Which is why I was attracted to Angie Garcia's journal. That was that looked like it had been burnt in a fire, the cover. Absolutely loved it. Thought it was beautiful. Actually, I thought it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen when I saw it. I was like, God, that's fabulous. Not the actual fire, but the art that she made it's, it's the art that she made was just oh, fabulous okay i'm loving loving how this is turning out now it's funny when you first start you're like ah, i don't know i don't know we'll put it there we'll put it there but actually as you keep adding you start liking it more and more okay now i don't really i, I love the nigerian symbols but I'm not loving um, how white the paper is, so we'll um, do something about that. We'll, you know, we'll either spray it with coffee, or I'll Tim Holtz distress it, something. I, when I'm filming, when I'm doing a live, I usually use the Tim Holtz distress inks to make to age the paper out. But a lot of times, because I, I, I a lot of times I use the coffee that I have in the spray bottle. I always keep this sitting right here to age paper real quick but then you have to wait for it to dry and we don't have time for all that so i'll probably use the tim holtz distressing so i know when i put this down it's not going to look right but it'll look right after we use some tim holtz uh distress ink on it okay so just just letting you know so you're like uh that looks horrible <laughs> i know you wouldn't say that to me but in your own head you're like okay angela that don't look good <laughs> All right, let's put this, we'll put this right down here. And I've got to tear the edges, okay. You know, this is also good. Um, I have, um, I keep one of these with the rest of my cheat sheets, I call them. And I'll show you my cheat sheets in a second. But when I want to do um, mark making, this right here is so good. Look how much mark making there is on here. Look how many cool mark making there is. And these are the Nigerian symbols. Cool, huh? You can use these to make marks in your artwork. So I do have these. When I, I put these in plastic sheets and put them to the sides, so these are like my cheat sheets. So that if I want to make my own marks, I can use this as a cheat sheet to make some marks. All right. So we'll put that there. But remember, we're going to Tim Holtz distress that. So no fear that it's going to look not good. It's going to look good once we distress it. All right, let me get some more jelly prints out and then I will check the chat. I'll check chat here in just a minute. So I see some, I see some things popping off in the chat. This is another thing. This has been in my uh, printables before. Okay, I'm loving this. Okay, let's. And you know what I like about numbers? Numbers are a universal are universal language. 
I was watching a show and um, a lot of times you'll see a lot of people that come from other countries. It always seems like, oh my gosh, they're really good at math or they're really good at um, anything to do with math or science. Anything has to do with numbers. And they said, no, we're not any better at numbers than anybody else. It's just that numbers are universal. And so we can understand the numbers. And I'm like, oh, okay. So really numbers is another way of communicating it's a, it's a, it's its own language also so i always want to add numbers in it i remember when i learned about that i was like oh that's really cool all right i'm just ripping up the edges here You know what would be cool is if I did some burning, if I burnt some of the edges here. Do I have my, just a second, I'm going to go get my, uh, I'm going to go get some fire. I'll be right back. I'm back look what I got we're gonna burn some edges I do this quite often in my work I know some people are freaking out they're like oh my god she's gonna burn down her her art room so I just light it on fire and as soon as I light it on fire I go like this and start getting rid of it this is cool. Just burn some edges just to. It just gives a really cool effect when you burn the edges. A lot of times I'll burn the edges of like a focal point. Because I instead of just putting a focal point on with straight edges, I'll burn them like this. It just looks cool. can't wait to go into the comments now now that I'm using fire <laughs> are you not entertained <laughs> okay see how cool that looks look how cool it looks it just I can never rip it how fire can burn the paper look how cool that is love it let's burn some more edges like this one let's burn this this will be cool And I'll read chat here in just a second because I'm interested to see what you guys got to say about me burning this paper. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing my, I'm laughing my buns off here. That looks cool. Look how cool that looks. Love it. Let's burn the bottom. more cool that looks see looks way more that looks way better all right let me read chat because I know you guys have some things to say about me burning paper <laughs> all right let's see thanks Natalie Wayne says did you bring some marshmallows <laughs> Rosie Benji the fire queen <laughs> I know you guys are going to have some good things to say. Um, Rose says, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> hey, Patty. Welcome in, girl. Hey, Patty. I'm using some of your uh, stuff in today's, in today's, um, into this uh, Maps of Peace collage. 
There's your stuff right there. I made a copy. And I'm going to use another one, too. Like, I love this one. I love them all. I love every damn thing you su sent me, Patty. Everything. You know me. You know me very well. Um, hey, Kiwi. How you doing, girl? Welcome in. Welcome in. The, um, Kiwi says, does anyone sell their artwork on eBay at all? Thanks, Pat. Yes, Patty. I loved it. I loved everything. And I'm using it today, Patty. Thank you. Uh, Kiwi, I do. I Well, you know I sell my artwork on... Um, not, oh, I don't sell it on eBay. I sell it on Etsy. But, you know, I've thought about it. I have an eBay store. That's my main thing I do as far as my job. I have an eBay store. And I should be selling my artwork in my eBay store. I didn't really think of that. I don't know why. I just think of my artwork in my Etsy shop. Well, thank you for making me think about that. Okay, um, Melissa says, awesome. Be careful. <laughs> she puts a bunch of fire signs. Archie Girl says, we have coffee spray fire extinguisher at the ready. <laughs> Kiwi says, I'm good. Oh, by the way, last day to enter my giveaway. Okay, you guys, go enter uh, Kiwi's uh, giveaway. Go check her channel out. She's awesome. Um, Kiwi says, I just started my eBay store yesterday. Oh, congratulations. I will check it out. Oh, Angie Garcia says that she sells on uh, Facebook. Instagram and Etsy. Okay, you guys, check out Angie Garcia. Check out her. Check her out um, on everything. But definitely go check out her Facebook. Um, that's where I, I saw her first was her Facebook. And I absolutely love it. And Angie, I want to go check out your uh, Etsy shop for sure. And I think I got to join you, Angie, on uh, Facebook or on uh, Instagram. I don't think I belong to you on Instagram. Just Facebook. But I will go check you. I will definitely go uh, join your, your uh, Instagram and check out your Etsy. Uh, okay, let me go up a little bit and see what people are saying. Okay. Okay, I'm looking to see if I missed anything. <laughs> Kiwi said, Kiwi is busy trying to steal burrito from me. <laughs> oh, Patty, did you say you were concerned about me with the flood? I live in Las Vegas, so, well, you know what, though? They did say that um, today not to drive, because uh, I guess it is supposed to flood here. My husband just told me that right before I came on. Uh, okay, I'm just looking to see if I missed anybody. I think I missed Adrian. Adrian, are you here? I'm looking to see. Okay, is Adrian here? I'm looking for Adrian's name. I just saw someone say Adrian. Oh, Adrian in Kiwi's Corner. Oh my God. Girl, Adrian, I just know you by Kiwi. <laughs> I got to make sure Kiwi and Adrian are the same person. Jeez. Sometimes my brain. You're welcome, Angie. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on with this. Look at all my burnt pieces right there. Okay, let me continue on with this and see. We're almost done. And then I can start gluing some stuff down. I'm going to get some other languages on here. Okay, what do we have? We have Italian, uh, Nigerian, Asian, African. Did I get um, what else? Okay, I got other stuff here. What is this? I don't know what this is. <sighs> All right. I don't know which one this is, but we're going to use it. Let me just look. I want to also, I had some Irish. I wanted to put some Irish down too. Did I put Italian down? Okay, that's Italian. I don't think I put any Spanish down. Okay, I think this is Spanish. All right. And I think this is Irish right here. All right, let's do it. Let's do the... I think this is Irish. I think...
All right, so I'm just ripping paper right now, just ripping it to get it in here. I think right there. And I love blank space, like right here, because I can do some intuitive writing right there when you have some blank space. So blank space is cool. All right. And even this page is a little pale. So, um, oh, see, Rose, thank you so much, sweetie. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I gotta go get, I'll be right back, you guys. I gotta go get my, um, my blowers and stuff. I'll be right back. Um, where do I want this to go? I don't want that to go right there. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, this is for C Rose. This is for uh, this is for C Rose for um, for uh, for uh, donating to the channel. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna blow these. <laughs> Yay! And we're gonna blow some bubbles. I started doing this on my live um, on Friday mornings. If you'd like to join me, it's a knitting and crochet live and. Um, if anybody does uh, donate to the channel, you're not even obligated at all. I'm just happy you're here. Um, I do this. I just blow some. Uh, I blow some horns and blow some bubbles. <laughs> Did you guys see the bubbles just now? I love blowing bubbles. Ooh. Hopefully you guys saw those. Thank you, C Rose. <laughs> and any if anyone does um contribute to the channel, the money's gonna go right back into the channel. Um there's always I can always take it and reinvest into the channel by buying uh, things for the giveaways and then also covering postage. So that's exactly where the money will be going to. And I totally appreciate it. Thank you. But no pressure, you guys. No pressure at all. I just appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, C Rose. OK. So <laughs> my my all my pieces are now kind of wet because <laughs> the bubbles went everywhere. It's worth it. Okay, let me, I need a big piece of, uh, right here it needs to be one, either a big piece or two medium pieces of um, jelly prints. So let's figure out something to go there. What's going to go there? Okay, I think... No, that's two same, same. What about this? This is also from my printables. It's a jelly print, and then I hand drew all of these uh, symbols. They're native symbols and African symbols. So again, this is another this is another language, really. All right, let's try putting this like here and putting that like that. Oh, I love that. Okay, but we got to get rid of these um, edges. Oh, this would be a good one to burn. Let's burn it. Let's burn it. Oh, 
Ooh, I like this. I even like the smell of burning paper. <laughs> I'm so crazy. Oh, well. I never said I was sane. Never said I was sane. How many lies have you been to that you're seeing someone burn paper? <laughs> uh, they're like, only you, Angela. Only you. This is only cool. It only looks cool with, you know, like all these symbols on here. And then have them burnt is even more cool. So what I do, as soon as I start, I, I burn it, I, I catch it on fire, I blow it out right away. It burns fast, so... Look how cool the burn edges look. Uh, loving that. Absolutely love. Look at that. Look at where, where it is. Look at that burn edge. It's not cool. All right. You know, let me get the. Get something to get the. um All the burnt stuff off of here. All right. Put all the burnt front edgy things onto the ground there we go all right and i'll check out chat here in just a second guys let me just work for a second see what i'm doing let me work it I think I like it like this and then this right here yeah that's what I think I like and then I think I know I want to go right here I think I want like a circle oh cool, cool. I already cut out a circle from something else these I like to make from um I like to make these are jelly prints made from jelly prints basically it's a whole technique make we use a cd cd and a jelly print it's pretty cool all right i i need to have something else down there first all right i want to put this asian print in there but i'm going to wait till i glue everything down so let's put that to the side let's put this to the side because these are kind of like little embellishments is what i call things like that so i got to get my main stuff down i need something else to go right there So let me just look here. Let me see. Let me see what I can see. Ooh, this is very old wall looking. We did this last week with the metallics on the black paper. Metallic metallics on the jelly plate with black um, cardstock. Trying to say if I like that whole piece right there or not. We'll find out. Let me rip, let me rip off the edges here. And we'll figure it out. All you gotta do is put it down and it'll tell you yes or no. You know what? I am I am liking this. Okay, let's rip this off. In fact, let's also rip this kind of unevenly like that. Oh, look how much cooler that looked as soon as I ripped the whole damn thing. That's cool. Okay. Who would think ripping and burning would make things cool? Me. <laughs> as soon as you rip it or burn it. Okay, now it's cool. <laughs> I'm crazy. I am out of my mind. All right. Then my little circle here. Oh, I like that. 
And what else do I like? All right, let me glue all this down. Then I'll throw some of these other things in here. And also, you know what? I got to go get my, uh, my extra iPad. I'll be back. Um, artsy girl, take over. I'll be right back. I got to go get my extra iPad because I got to take a picture of this so I can remove all this so we can glue it all down. So let me go get my, um, my other iPad. I'll be right back. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's not my other iPad. It's my husband's iPad. I only have one iPad. Okay, but it's my husband's. I guess, let me just get into his. So I just want to take a picture of this and then I have something, then I can remove all this and not have to stress about trying to remember what I did. Where is his camera? There it is. All right, so let me take a picture. Okay, and one more picture at the bottom. I think that that'll. Okay, let me look at it real quick. Make sure I have every part of this. Is that the bottom? What the heck? All right, that's the bottom. Where's the top? That's the middle. Okay, there's the top. All right, cool. So I just took pictures of, see, I just took it on my, on the iPad. And then that way I don't have to try to remember all this. Just a second. Okay. All right. So now we're going to glue all this down, but before I glue it down, let me check out chat and see what you guys have to say. Okay, you guys, I'm going to rearrange my camera for a second. Let's do it like this because I have to be able to get around this camera to glue all this down. And then I'll keep moving the camera like this as we go down. All right, first let me read chat though because I've, I've seen uh, that there's a lot of people are saying some stuff. So let me, let me read chat here. Okay. <laughs> um artsy girl angie's back okay <laughs> wayne says this is my first live with an arson demonstration love it <laughs> oh artsy girl says um party everyone up and dance funny okay angie says yes rosie she had a candle going and accidentally set the tissue paper on fire she acted fast she was a little shook up Oh, something got, something got burnt. Okay. Um, Kiwi says, do you ever set the smoke ar alarms off doing that? Asking for, a, asking for a friend. <laughs> I haven't yet. I do it so quick and blow it out so quick. That's probably why I don't set off the fire alarms. Okay. Angie said, I saw a crafter set her tissue paper on fire and threw it threw her coffee on it. It was a little scary watching it live. <laughs> Moses says, this is my first. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm going to go back up. Um, Rosie uh, gave a super chat. I will, we will celebrate her right now. I see that over and over and over. Thank you, Rosie. You are sweetie. Thank you so much. We're going to celebrate you in just one second. 
Uh, C Rose said, um, you're more than welcome for all the fabulous art you share with us. Love you, girl. Love you, Rose. Rosie says, you're welcome for the fire queen. <laughs> Rosie says she's going to give me a super chat <laughs> for the fire extinguisher fund. <laughs> Angie Garcia says, oh, Vegas, you're not too far from me. About 11 hours. Oh, cool. Are you in California? Okay. Let's celebrate Rosie. Rosie, thank you so much for contributing to the channel. Um, First, we got to start out with some. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and let's blow some bubbles. All right, where's my bubbles at? Okay, oh, here they are. They're so big. Look, at these are the bubbles, you guys. I get them from Dollar Tree. In fact, I get all this from Dollar Tree. I got a big bunch of bag of these from Dollar Tree. I got a big bag of these from Dollar Tree. And I got these from Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? To blow bubbles and... Actually, I've had them in my craft room. I had the bubbles for quite a long time. Because I'm a 53-year-old woman stuck in a... Wait. I'm a 12-year-old stuck in a 53-year-old woman body. That's why. Yay! So we're blowing bubbles for Rosie. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love blowing bubbles. <laughs> I like blowing it all over my artwork. Yay, Rosie! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So like I said, that'll be put towards um, more prizes for giveaways and also for shipping. Okay. And thank you, Artsy Girl, for keeping me straight. Thanks for keeping me straight. You got to have help. It's not easy doing everything, being a one-woman show. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let me, throw, let me make some room. If you guys could see the mess I make during a live, you would just be laughing because I, I I make a mess, a serious, serious mess. All right. Let me clean up, clean myself up for a second so that I can. All right, let's start. We can start gluing this stuff down now. And I can sit. Oh, no, I can't sit down yet. All right. What I'm looking at. All of this can go right now. All this is at the bottom. So this all goes now. Ba boom. All of this has been going on top of that. So we'll put that in another pile. All right. That goes there. And let's work with these three pieces here. All right. So what needs to go down first? These are going over this. So these two have to get glued down first. So let's do that. Get my magazine out here. I like to use a magazine as a glue surface because um, I can glue, I can use this as a glue surface and then when I'm done, turn the page. And then we don't have, um, you know, it just saves your, it saves everything from getting all sticky and gooey and you always just have a nice clean surface. Also, can't be using glue without baby wipes <clears throat> and I just saw some stuff go across chat so I will check chat here in a minute um, let me just go ahead and glue some stuff down wet my brush oh I hear the storm outside I think it's storming we had a bad storm the other night, which we needed the rain. We haven't had a good rain here in Vegas in years. It's been a long time. It's been ridiculous. In fact, we have a major drought and all this stuff going on. And uh, it was, the sun was up. And within minutes, the sun was down. 
um, we had 60 mile hour winds, which for some of you guys, that's not a big deal. But for here, uh, we never have 60 mile. We have 30 or 40, but never 60. Um, trees broke. Uh, people got in car accidents. It was crazy. And then it started to rain. And it didn't, it rained like it was sheets of rain. Just sheets. Not even rain droplets. Just like sheets of rain. It was amazing. I was like, where did this, and it just came out of nowhere too. It came out of nowhere. All right, let me try to go around the camera. Oh, Lord. Okay, this is going to be an acrobatic act right here to get around the camera. To glue this down. Oh. All right, let's just go beyond the page a little bit. There we go. So I'm gluing this down, and I'm gluing it a little bit over the edges because I really can't see where the edges are at because I have to go around the camera. <laughs> so we'll trim the edges when we're done, of course. All right, let's just do that. And then we'll glue this one down. And since Whoa! this one is done on black cardstock, I'm going to use um, Eileen's Tacky to glue this down. So whenever I have to glue um, cards, I don't jelly print on cardstock very often. Just when I'm using, pretty much when I'm jelly printing on black, I'll use the cardstock. But when I glue it down, I always use the um, Eileen's Tacky. Oh my God, we're having like a, a weather warning. That's crazy. I think our Alexa is going off. Let me look out the window. I'm just curious to see, like, what the heck? I hear it. I just... Huh. It's not as bad out there as it sounds. That's weird. I just heard, like, my Alexa, the um, some type of warning went off. Okay. I'm just glad I'm at home, safe in my house, my husband's home, safe at the house. He just probably got woken up, though, because um, the Alexa went off with some beeping noise. Okay. If you're going to have bad weather, you just at least want to be home and have everybody home so everyone's safe. Okay, let me glue this down and then I'll check chat. Okay, this one I can see to glue down <laughs> and get it lined up. The other one I can't see over in that corner around the, around the phone. Okay, oh that looks cool. Let me glue it down a couple more, then I'll check chat. Let me just kind of... Let me just kind of get a little bit of stuff down here. So you guys can actually be looking at something. Alright, that looks cool. Doesn't it? Okay. You guys, you know what? I absolutely love this brush. Look at this brush. It's the okay. Let me show you. This is the chintziest brush. It's it's plastic. Look at the bristles. It's just cheap old plastic. I got it at IKEA. It came in with some cheap watercolors. I thought I'm gonna try these cheap watercolors. Well, I don't like the watercolors, but I thought let me keep the cheap brush. And you know what? I've learned never throw a brush away. All the cheap brushes or brushes I thought I hated, I ended up liking them. I love this brush for glue. It is the bomb. It wasn't ever good for anything else. I've had it for years. But one day, I looked up and I said, you know what? That brush might be good as a glue brush. Now it's my favorite glue brush. So never throw away your brushes. Even like when you think, oh, this brush is complete crap. <laughs> All my brushes I thought of complete crap, I've, I've found good uses for them. And I've loved the brush after I found the use, the use for it. Okay, let's throw some Eileen's, throw some Eileen's Tacky on this one. All 
I love Eileen's tacky. Looks so good. Okay. And these big old magazines I use as glue surfaces, I love them. I get them for free. Um, it's like the Las Vegas Weekly or something like that. So my husband, he usually tries, he picks them up for me at the grocery store and uh, brings me home a nice big pile of these magazines so I can use those glue surfaces. I love them. All right. Is that good right there? Yep, that is. Let me get, get my hands I'm being so gluey, some sticky. Okay. Let's, all right. So I will check chat right now. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. Okay. Let me check chat. See what you guys are. Let me see what you guys are talking about. Hey, needle hook bro. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. She says it's hard to find a brush that doesn't shed and glue that are cheaper. Isn't that the truth? I know. But this cheap plastic horrible brush, I thought, does not it does not none of the br bristles come off at all. And then the glue doesn't um you know eventually the glue will ruin your brush eventually. This thing is so cheap and plasticky, it doesn't get ruined. It's the best glue brush ever. I love it. Uh, let's see what people are saying. People are just saying the weather. Hey, Patricia P., how are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Angie says, uh, it's high 80s to low 90s. It's 80 also here in Las Vegas. It's been 100, 104, 110. But because it's over, it's, um, uh, it's cloudy and it's supposed to be raining here soon. Um, let me see. Good. I'm glad you're doing good, Patricia. Uh, Angie Garcia says, yes, never throw a brush away. LOL. Uh, Patricia P says, hello, Angie. It's neat to watch. Your class. I have never tried this art before. I looked at your journals in your shop. I'm definitely going to get one when I can. They are beautiful. Oh, you're very sweet. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, D came in. Is it D special things? I'll, okay, I'm going to be coming up and I'll, I'll I'm going to keep reading up. Uh, uh, Ciro says, Wayne, it's fun to do coffee bubbles. Angie should blow coffee dyed bubbles to celebrate. Oh my God, I should. I don't have all that stuff out and I have to make the, I have to make the bubbles. But you know what? I will do it, you guys. Next week, I'll have it made up. Because I have to use uh, Dawn dish soap and I throw coffee in there. And then I have like a little bottle with a sock on it that I make the coffee paper out of. But it makes cool bubbles. So, yeah, I'll do it. I'll have to do it next week though because I have to prepare that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I said hi to D. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm getting confused. Uh, Wayne says you can do it with paint too, but it comes out more more subtle oh wayne so you've done the um the bubble coffee paper um patty says she has to try that wayne says i like to i, I like to coffee dye my paper i like to coffee dye my papers with coffee bubbles it's so cool yeah wayne i did i did that here on uh on uh, on a live about a month or two ago it was it, it comes out really cool i love it I'm surprised I don't have any of my coffee bubble paper that I could have added to this collage. Thanks, Patty. Patty says she loves the turquoise mixed in. That's Patty's favorite color. And Patty says there's cool watercolor techniques with bubbles. Patty, have you done those on your on your live or your channel? Okay. Let me see if everybody's saying anything. Thanks for the tip. You're doing good. Okay, uh, Artsy Girl said, Patricia, I bought Angie's journals with her art. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Artsy Girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Artsy Girl is announcing about my Etsy shop. Um, in my Etsy shop, I do I do printables, and you guys will see the printables at the end because they'll be part of the giveaway. 
Um, so at the end, stay to the end, you guys, because we have we have two giveaways at the end, and my printables are in the giveaway. Um, let me just look and see what I'm doing next. Okay, my printables are in the giveaway, and the printables are in my Etsy shop. They're two dollars and fifty cents for every five for five printables. It's two dollars and fifty cents, and I have to do it like that because they won't let me uh, list uh, printables more than five at a time. So I do five, and then I do five more. Usually, I have about in one series, I have 10 to 15. So, but for every five pages, it's $2.50. So it's, I think it's super reasonable price. And then you're able to print them out yourself. So, all right, let me see what I'm doing. Let me see what I'm doing. Because I can get confused real quick. All right. Yeah, I like that. All right, so let's take that down and let's glue this in. Let me get my magazine back. All right. You know, it's probably been a couple months since I did that coffee bubble paper. I'll have to do that again. That was fun. I need to find the coffee bubble paper so I can put it into my collages because it looks really cool. The only thing that I don't like about it is the I was success. The, okay, I learned it from this girl. I'm trying to think of who I learned it from. And I can't remember the girl's name. I'm sorry. I can't remember her name. Anyway, I learned it from a, a fellow YouTuber. And um, it only really, really worked well on, uh, was it water? No, it only worked really well on mixed media paper. You would think it would work well on um, watercolor paper. It worked the best on um, mixed media paper. And the mixed media paper, of course, is really super thick. So that's not really fun to collage with. But what I did is, is um, what I did is, is, just kidding. What I did was um, made copies of that. And then that's what I um, collage with, is the copy of my bubble my coffee bubble paper because trying to glue down um mixed media paper it ain't easy i mean i thought you think cardstock is hard to to glue down mixed media paper is hard to glue down it's really thick okay let me glue this in there we go i love doing this this is like your it's like you're painting with paper but you did the painting all prior, right? When you made the, when I made the jelly prints, you know, it's pretty cool. Painting with paper. Okay, what's next? This is next. Let's glue this in. Cool. <clears throat> and also, I need some water. <laughs> Oh, that tastes good. I swear, there's nothing better than ice water sometimes. You guys, I'm sorry, but <coughs> I got to blow my nose. Hey, Adrian, welcome in. Welcome in. I just think I saw how um, how Wayne said he did his. What did he say he, how he did his? He did, he says... Um, Okay, Wayne says he did his on plain printer paper. Okay, so Wayne, did they so they came out good on the plain on the plain printer paper? I think the only reason I didn't because the the girl who I learned it from said that it didn't work for her on the plain paper. So then I thought, oh, okay, I have to use the mixed media paper. So it came out good on the plain paper. Alrighty, take this away, and let's glue this down. Oops. And I don't worry about wrinkles. If I have wrinkles, good. <laughs> we love wrinkles here. Wrinkles just add to it, in my opinion. Wrinkles add to the, the whole thing. I like wrinkles. 
All right, that goes there and this goes here. Okay. <clears throat> we welcome wrinkles here. All right, and we're going to glue that one and put that one there. So that'll be next. Welcome. Wrinkles are welcome. All right. Move that to the side for a second. Let's glue this down. And let me glue down these next two, and then I'll check the chat. Okay. Now let's do another one. <clears throat> what time is it? Okay, 3.22. You guys, we've already been on almost an hour and a half. Can you believe it? Time just goes so quick. I got so much done today. I feel so accomplished. I woke up at about 5, 5.30, which is my normal time to wake up. And um, I knitted for two hours or an hour and a half. Well, what did I do? I knitted for two, about an hour and a half. I knitted. I tried to knit in the morning for an hour and a half to two hours. So I knitted for an hour and a half this morning. Then I got my makeup on, got dressed, and me and my husband went grocery shopping early. Like we were at the grocery store, I think by 8.30, something like that. 8.30, 9 o'clock. I think like 9. So we got our grocery shopping done, came home, got the, and then I, of course, I had to do the damn dishes. I wanted to do the dishes before I left. So I had to do the dishes and I had to clean out my refrigerator to put the food away. So I did that, made breakfast, um, vacuumed my house, and then I came on here. So I felt, I felt quite accomplished before I came on this live today. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff to get done. Then when I get done with my list live, I think I'm going to mop because I, I vacuumed. I need to get the mopping done. And then I'm done with, I'm done with stuff. Then I'm relaxing. Okay, this looks really cool. I'm liking this. Okay, that needs some more glue right there. <laughs> Look at my big burn spot. Or my, yeah, my little burn spot here. <laughs> looks funny. Okay, let me glue that down. There we go. All right, we got this glued down. We're going to get this last half of this glued in. But let me check the chat. See what you guys are saying. Hey, Deborah, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing? So good to have you. Angie says, I'll have to try coffee. Thanks for the tip, Wayne. Everyone's welcoming Deborah in. Very good. Wayne says that that sounds like it would be beautiful. Coffee colors are so pretty. Aren't they though? I love coffee colors. Uh, Wayne says you need to make sure your coffee is strong enough to get the big bubbles. Yeah. What I did was, um, is I took, if I can remember what I did, I think I did a cup of water and three quarters cup of instant coffee from the Dollar Tree. And then I think I had to do like a quarter cup to a half a cup of, of uh, Dawn dish soap. And then I took, I think I have it right here. So like Wayne said, you got to make it strong. So I did make the coffee really strong. Oh, I don't have it in here. Oh, here it is. And then this is what this girl told me to do. She told me to get like a bottle like this, like a water bottle and cut it like the bottom off. And then take a sock, like a kid's sock. I don't know, if Wayne, if this is how you did it. And take a kid's sock and put it on the bottom of this bottle. I'll show it to you in just a second. So you put this sock on the bo bottle. And then fold this over. And then you blow through the top right there. You blow through the top. And then the bubbles come out here. And you dip this into the coffee bubble mixture. Is that how you did yours, Wayne? Hey, Adrian, how are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Patricia says she's drinking her coffee right now. <laughs> she's like, I am not going to waste my coffee on no bubble paper. 
Um, Adrian, everything she creates is in great watch her playlist. Oh, Adrian, thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Patty says, I want a cup of coffee now. <laughs> I know that does sound good, doesn't it? Okay. All right. I'm all caught up with chat. Let me continue on. Let me continue. Okay. What else do we have to go down next? Okay, so let me turn the page. All right. We've got to glue this in. And if you want, to, since we're talking about coffee so much, um, I have these spray bottles of coffee sitting here. And this is a dark one that I made. And I did... Um, to make this, for one, I got this, look at this bottle. It has a pink tint to it. I love it. Dollar Tree. So I got the bottle of Dollar Tree. I picked up the, the instant coffee from Dollar Tree. And to make this so that you can sp make coffee, you can just stain paper or anything you want to stain right at your desk when you're working. It's really super convenient. I got this from um, Robin McClendon gave me this idea. Uh, you take a cup of water to three quarters cup of um, instant coffee. And then throw in some alcohol. I don't know how much. Just pour some alcohol in there. In there, the alcohol acts as a preservative, and that way you can just coffee dye paper right at the ready whenever you want to right at your desk. It's really cool. I love having this. And then so this this is dark. So I put a D on there for dark. And then um, this one here is medium, and I rarely ever use it. Look, it's almost full. Um, you make it the same way, but instead it's like um, a cup of water and like a half a cup of the instant coffee and that's so you can just get like a medium but i'm probably just going to turn this into dark i'm just gonna add more coffee to it because i basically always use the dark one and then always add make sure you add the alcohol in there like i don't know maybe a quarter cup of alcohol maybe a little less so that it acts as a preservative and it doesn't get spoiled so and I learned that from Robin McClendon. You guys check out Robin McClendon. I've mentioned her a million times. Um, she's usually in my description. I'll make sure she's in my description. You guys go over and check out her channel. And something I want, I've, I've started doing in my other live. I go live on Friday mornings, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time, if you guys are interested. Um, it's, a, it's a knitting and crochet live or fiber or if you just want to come over and talk and have fun. It's called Angie's um, Angie's Yarn Party. Like this one's called Angie's Art Party. That one's called Angie's Yarn Party. And um, you guys can come over and join that. That's a lot of fun. And I was going somewhere with that. What the hell was I going? <laughs> Where was I going with that? I was going to tell you something. Well, at least I told you that I'm having, I have Angie's uh, Yarn Party on Friday mornings at 830 a.m. Pacific time, but I was going to say something else about that. Oh, I hate that. I'm in the middle of trying to communicate something and I lose my train of thought. Good grief. It's hard getting old. Just lost my train of thought. What the heck was I saying? I don't remember. Sorry, guys. I was going somewhere with that. But at least I'll let you know that I do go live on Friday mornings. <laughs> but I had something to say. But I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to put that here. Okay, now this isn't lining up the way I had it. But right here we'll put something else. Oh, you know what? Okay, you guys, can you see? What, what are you guys seeing? Make sure you guys are seeing what the heck I'm doing. Okay. I'm moving my camera around. Sorry, guys. I just want you to make sure you guys can see. Okay, there we go. Make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, this isn't going to line up down at the bottom, but we'll put something else here. No major. I just look at it as an opportunity to add more collage. Oh, I wish I knew where I was going with what I was saying because I had something to say. Must not have been that important. <clears throat> I'm still over here trying to figure out, trying to remember what the hell I was trying to say. Just can't remember. Oh well. 
It might come back to hit me. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. All right. This is a big piece I'm going down. All righty. All right. More glue. There we go. There we go. This is coming together. And look, I got this. Oh, this will look nice. I got this strip over here on the side. Let go of me. This, okay. These right here I get out of an Asian news, some Asian newspapers that I, we have a place called Chinatown here in Las Vegas. And um, there are um, Asian grocery stores and restaurants in Chinatown. So there's an Asian grocery store. It's fabulous. I love the grocery store, period. And also um, in front of the Asian grocery store, they have like um, just this whole little newspaper racks. There's like three or four different ones. So I always grab a bunch of these Asian newspapers and then use them as a So since, remember, see how I have this here? We'll just add that at the bottom. Now look cool. And we'll stain this with some, we'll, we'll, we'll distress this with some Tim Holtz Distress ink. That'll look, that'll look fabulous. Okay, but you know what, before I do that, let me continue so I can see how this is gonna fit in as far as that. Um, oh, you know what was at the bottom of here? I had something at the bottom of here. I can just barely see it on my... What is, who is um, messaging me over and over? Sorry, guys. I should have turned on the uh, airplane mode. Sorry about that. Mm. I, I, I don't know what's going on with my phone. It's like gone crazy. It's probably Facebook or something. Oh, my gosh. I wish it would stop. I can tell you that. Oh, I know what it is. Somehow, me and my husband got... Me and my husband, I got to do something about that. Me and my husband got caught up in this uh, one chat and they just go nuts and we can't seem to get ourselves off of it. We tried all kinds of stuff to get off of this. It's a group chat and we can't get off of it and we didn't even put ourselves in it. Anyway. All right. You know, I, was th I, I thought that I misdid something at the bottom, but remember I had this at the bottom. Perfect. Okay. So let's glue in this. This needs to go next. And then let me glue this down and then I'll check chat, guys. I just got to get this glued down. So now that I'm saying that, I don't even know if I can do anything. Well, I guess if I put it on airplane mode when they're doing that crazy chatting, hopefully that won't come through. So next time I will... Um, put my phone on airplane mode you guys sorry I asked my husband I said how do we even get into that group chat he goes I don't know we don't even know how we got in it someone put us in it and then now we're on it and we tr try to remove ourselves from the group chat and it just it's not working and these girls go crazy when they start talking, they just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And our phones just blow up. Which I don't care because I'll just take my phone and turn it off or just go put it somewhere. But when I'm doing a live, that's not good. Okay. Got this glued in. We're down. Let me lift this up to make sure I'm not gluing any of my paper to the table. Okay. All right, let me check chat here. Let me grab my iPad here and check chat and see what you guys are talking about. Well, I got a few more pieces to glue down, you guys. And then we'll do some um, we'll do some embellishing and also some mark making. Okay, let's see what people are saying. Patty says group chats drive me nuts. Yeah, don't they? 
especially if there are uh, some people that just like want to go back and forth, back and forth, back, and they'll go on for hours. They get crazy. Thank you, Melissa. Um, Patty says, "Is that your chat room? Is that is that your chat from your live on the iPad?" Wait, she says, "Is that your chat from your live on the?" Yeah, exactly. So you guys are seeing yourselves. This is you guys. This is my husband's iPad. And um, no, oh, I'm confused. This is my iPad. Sorry. <laughs> My husband's iPad has the pictures of this collage. No, this is my iPad. Isn't that funny? I'm, I'm, I put this in front of me and you guys are seeing yourselves right here. This is funny. Okay, anyway. Let me keep going. Patty says, go for it, Wayne. Easier than you think. Lives are tricky because you're watching the chat while working, but you get used to it. Yeah, for sure, Wayne. And let us know if you just, when you decide to go live so we can all come watch and join you. Um, so everyone, you guys join Wayne, Wayne, Cow uh, is it Cowing or Cowing? Um, you guys join his channel so that you guys will get notified when he goes live. I'm already saying when you go live, Wayne. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> uh, Artsy Girl says, Angie, you were giving the full schedule of your weekly live streams and podcasts. Girl, thank you. <laughs> I knew I was going somewhere. So I go live every Friday, 8.30 a.m. That's a knitting and crochet po uh, live. Um, or fi anyone who loves fiber, period. Or you just want to come have a good time because it's called Angie's Yarn Party. So that's every Friday morning, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. And then you guys know today, every Sunday, I go live uh, 2 o'clock Pacific time every Sunday. And then on Thursdays, I have a uh, knitting and crochet podcast. That's not live. But it comes out, uh, it comes out every Thursday. So that's my schedule. That's it. Thank you, artsy girl, for keeping me straight. <laughs> okay. So Wayne, just go for it. It's you know what? It seems scary, Wayne, but it's not at all. Once you get used to it, it's nothing. It really isn't. And actually, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And even like there'll be days where like you're tired and you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to go live today. Because, you know, it's just like anything. You're just tired or, you know, you're not feeling well. But you know what happens? You come on and it feeds you and it gives you energy. It feeds you. It makes you feel better. It's like when you go to the when you okay, I, I used to go to the gym, but now I work out of my house because of the coronavirus thing. So I've just I've just kept working out at my house. So anyway, but when I used to go to the gym before I started working out at my house, um, I, there would be days I'd be like, oh, I don't feel like working out. But you know what? I would go to the gym, I'd work out, and I go, I, I specifically go to Zumba. Zumba and um, Zumba workout. It's uh, like dance fitness, but it's very Latin-based, and it's it's so fun. It's a big party. And I go there, and I would see all my, my Zumba friends. We'd all dance together. It was so much fun. And afterwards, I always would say, you know what? I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I went to the gym and I did not feel like it at all, but it's the same thing with lives. Some days you don't feel like it and you're like, I'm not, I don't have the energy for this. You get on here and you feel better afterwards. So Wayne, I would say do it. So leap in Wayne, leap in. <laughs> Uh, D says, I want to make the live, but can't because with my family that early. Oh, it's okay. No problem. You can always watch the replay if you'd like. Yeah, Wayne, do you have a YouTube channel? I'm sure you do. Okay, Wayne said he likes to also spray my papers with food coloring, let them dry, and then do coffee bubbles over the colored sheets. Okay, Wayne, that is awesome, and you need to you need to be having lives, okay? If not, you need to be making videos. Wayne, you make videos, right? Okay, we're on you, Wayne. We're on you. You got a lot of good ideas. You do a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Okay, Mari says, I love the way the colors look like stones, amber, and turquoise agate. The writing looks like uh, separate in stone. Oh, cool. Thank you. You know what? I think the reason why some of these papers look like, basically look like turquoise and agates and stones, because look, I love, turquoise is my, fa is like, I love turquoise. 
So these are my rings, right? And look at them. I think I make my artwork to look not just like old walls and old doors, but also to look like turquoise. Because I love turquoise with brown and coppers and all the cool colors. So I'm definitely inspired by turquoise jewelry. By stones, period. Okay. I think I got caught with chat. Let me just see. Lisa says, what is Wayne's information so I can follow him? Hey, Wayne. Um, so, Wayne, do you have a uh, YouTube channel, first of all? Let us know, Wayne. And uh, if you have, I mean, we know you have a channel because we see you there, Wayne Cohen. But do you make, um, do you make content, Wayne? Wayne's like, dang, you guys are on me. <laughs> uh, so Wayne's going to let us know here shortly, I'm sure. Okay. You're so welcome, Artsy Girl. I just appreciate you, and I really appreciate um, you always helping me and being very supportive. Thank you, thank you, girl. Love ya. Okay. Okay, Patty said, no, I mean, were the pings you were hearing from a notification from iPad? No, those pings were coming from my uh, phone, and my phone is what I, um, I'm going live on. It's what I tape all my videos on, and what I go live on is my phone. So that's those girls going crazy with each other on their um, chatting back and forth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Wayne, you should start with bubbles. That would be cool. Oh, Wayne says, I do not have a channel. Sad. Okay, well, you have a channel, Wayne, because you can make comments. You just haven't made any content yet. Is that what you're saying? Patty says, Wayne has taken off for parts unknown with all the pressure. <laughs> okay, Wayne says, I will try to get a channel going. Okay, very good, Wayne. Hey, Wayne, at least uh, do this. Um, I have a, I have a, um, I have a group. I have a, um, what do I have? <laughs> I have a Facebook group. There we go. I have a Facebook group called Our Magical Little Place. Um, in about 30 minutes after this live, there'll be a link where you can go, a clickable link, and you can join the Facebook group. And um, so you can, if you if you don't mind, we'd love to see your work. Come join the group, and um, we can start. You can start posting your work there, and we can see it. We'd love to see it. Love you too, artsy girl. Thank you. Uh, Angie Garcia says. Is it a private message group? Because there is a place where you can leave a group or a silent conversation. Okay, I'm not sure what she's... Maybe she's talking to somebody else. Okay, uh, Patricia. I haven't made content yet either. I want to link it with my Instagram once my Instagram gets more people. Cool. Northern Snowbird says, Silicone brushes are good for glue. No bristles if it dries. Just peel off the glue. Oh, you know what? I've never thought to use my um, silicone brush for uh, gluing. That's a great idea because I have one. I have some right here. Look, that's a great idea. This would be great. Oh my gosh, why did I ever think of that? I use this as a tool on the jelly plate just to make, you know, swooshes and stuff on the jelly plate. But I never thought to use it as a glue brush. Good idea. Love it. Wayne says, thank you, and okay sounds good. Okay, so let's get the... Okay, it's at 3.45 already, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Time is flying. Let me get some water. In about 15... Okay, you guys, everyone stick around, because in about 10, about 10 minutes, we're going to do the giveaway, okay? Let me finish this up and glue this down. Okay, so you guys, when I'm done gluing this down... What I like to, well, I'll just, let me glue this down and then I'll discuss what else I have to do. And we'll just save the rest of what I need to do for next week. Okay. 
I won't do it um, off camera. I'll do it on camera with you guys. But I'll, and I'll discuss what we have left to do, okay? Because we won't have time to finish this up. We're almost done, but I have to make marks. And I'll, I'll tell you guys in a second. I'll tell you in a second, but let's, let's get this glued down. Okay, some Eileen's Tacky. It's so cool to have a, a gentleman in the group. Isn't it, girls? Love it. Because we get a different perspective. Love it. Wayne, you're like the Tim Holtz of the group. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's glue this down. Glue this in. Okay, that's down. Let's get this down. Oh, shoot. I wanted to put... Oh, it's not too late. We'll go like this. I wanted to put this down and then this over this. Alright, let's glue that. Put some glue on this. There's no mistakes. Even if it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted and I couldn't get it up, I just glue something else over it. No major. I love working like this, just loose and intuitive. Not pressuring myself to death. Love it. Okay. All right, so we got that down. Um, let's get this down. This goes here. You know what? I don't know. Okay, there we go. It's like, I don't know where this ends at. Can you guys see me at the bottom here? Yeah, you guys can see it. Okay. And then let's put this in here. Love it. Glue this down. <laughs> Glue my burnt paper down. <laughs> All right. Move that out of the way. <clears throat> All right. There we go. I don't know what it is, but it's so satisfying gluing this paper down. Like, I, I guess I like to cut and paste. <laughs> it's like so, it's like so gratifying to glue it down. It's almost like a sticker, but it's a sticker that you made and you're gluing it down with your own glue. <laughs> I just love the satisfaction of gluing it down. Anyway, I'm crazy. All right, so we have everything glued in. I am loving this. This is coming out pretty cool. Let's bring that up a little bit so you guys can kind of get a full view of what's going on. Do I want one of these? Okay, I don't need this big piece anymore, but that will be set aside for something else. I have some other little small Asian. These are out of that Asian newspaper. Aren't those so cool? They need a little Tim Holtz Distress Ink or a little coffee staining, but aren't they cool? So cool. You know what? We're going to put this one at the bottom here because I think that will look cool. How many times can I say the word cool? How many times can I say that? All right. At least I'm not saying that's groovy. All right, that's gonna go down there. And I think I want one more somewhere. Let's see. Let's see if I do this one here. Oh, that would look really, that would look really cool. <laughs> I 
I need to stop saying the word cool. Okay, I like this better. Just right over this writing here. So it's like mixing two cultures together right here. This culture with the Asian culture. Isn't that neat? I'm trying to think of what this is. Um, I think this is Italian. Yeah. Mixing Italian and... Um, uh, and you know what? I'm not... It's called Chinatown, but I'm not sure if the grocery store I go to, if they're selling a Japanese or a Chinese paper. I'm not sure which one. But we'll just say um, Asian. So, I love the Asian print against the Italian print. And it's like bringing two different cultures together. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I think it's neat. Okay. Let's glue it in. And almost every um, collage I do, I always cut these out of that Asian newspaper because I just think they're so pretty. Okay, so what I still, I'll, I'm going to read chat here in a second, but what we still have to do on this whole thing is, for one, I need to get some Tim Holtz Distress ink or some coffee stain. And you know what? Because we're not going to work on this anymore and I have time for it to dry, let's just go ahead and take my bottle of dark coffee that I've made, right? And let's go right here and start spraying this. And we're going to stress. Remember I told you I wanted to coffee stain these or Tim Holtz Distress ink? And I love the coffee. So whatever needs to be distressed or stained, I'm spraying coffee on it. Cool, huh? Love it! Okay. Normally I don't do that on a live because it needs to dry and we don't have time for drying. But since we're not going to do anything else on this today, we can let this dry. Um, I'm going to take off, just dab it with my baby wipe and just take up any little excess coffee off of there so it's not, you know, puddling. Just a little, just a little excess. Cool. Look how fast that was. Distressed that so quickly. Love it. So what we have to do, so we've done the distressing here. We may take some Tim Holtz distress ink and distress further on like the, like on this map and maybe on here. We'll see. Um, let me get my cheat sheets out and I'll show you. These are what my cheat sheets are. Okay. I like to take like a black ink pen and this is, um, it's hard to see it, but these are algebraic equations and I like to use those as mark making and put the algebraic equations like in the map, maybe in over the, over the, over the uh, languages, maybe right here. Okay. And I'll show you what I'm talking about a little bit closer up. I put these in plastic sleeves. And I keep these right beside me. These are my cheat sheets, like my mark making cheat sheets. So again, this is another of algebraic equations. So those will be made used as marks with the black ink pen. Okay. <clears throat> so we need to do some of that on here. We'll do this next week, but I'm just going to show you what we're going to do next week so that you know what, you know how we're going to finish this up. Okay. Then I have this, another cheat sheet. These are native and African symbols that I have found on the internet. And then I hand uh, drew these out myself. So just to show you those. So some of these will be put into this Maps of Peace. This is one of my favorite serendipity. I love that sign. It's not cool. It's one of my faves. Pretty much goes on every piece I make. Okay, here's some more of the um, native and... African signs and the reason I say native I'm meaning Native American but I was watching a, sh uh, a documentary and um, the natives had said they don't want to be called Native American they like to be called natives so that's why I say native I always try to have respect for other cultures and um, not that I'm perfect but I always try to learn I always try to learn and I always try to have respect okay Roman numerals this will be another mark we'll be making I love to put Roman numerals down on my artwork. Cool. Um, these are Coco Pellies. I found some of these. I do these by hand also. These are ones I printed out so I can have like a little, um, just a little pictures of them so I can draw my, my own. I don't ever draw them exactly like this, but it gives me a little um, view. 
I have something to reference. It gives me a little reference. Love those. These are Cocopelli's. In Arizona, you see them everywhere. They're on everything. They're on pots. They're on pottery. They're on t-shirts. They're on, they're on everything. They're on all kinds of artwork. Um, did I show you this one? Okay, no, I don't think so. Okay, so this is more of the Native and African symbols. Uh, African and Native symbols, they share a lot of the same symbols. That's another Cocopelli, and I did hand draw that one myself. And the Cocopellis mean fertility, dance slash music, joy, merrymaking, and good luck. And then these are some more of the symbols that I drew by hand. So this is what I'm talking about. These are my cheat sheets that I keep beside me that I can always use for mark making. That right there is an African queen. These are some more symbols. One Saturday morning, I woke up and I just started going crazy on the internet, just looking at all the African and native symbols. And um, I just started drawing them like an insane person. Like an insane person. Here's another yeah. Coco Pelly. Isn't that cool? I loved it. Just some more samples of Coco Pellies and that sun. All right. Oh, and here's some Asian symbols. So if I want to draw any of these as mark making and use them, I can. And then I have my own intuitive language, my own intuitive symbols that I like to draw and paint. I like to uh, do so I can also do those. I'm trying to think if I, I don't have any intuitive symbols on here right now. Yeah, we're getting short on time, so I won't do, I was going to do some intuitive symbols, but we'll do that next week. It's my own language that I made up myself. I learned it from Robin McClendon. It's not the same intuitive language that she does, but Patty Tolly Paris, she has her own intuitive symbols and language. I've created my own intuitive language and symbols, and um, I'll show you guys those next week. So that's what we're going to do next week. We'll start doing some of the mark making and, um, and finish this piece up, okay? All right, so let me put this down on the ground because now it's wet also let me check chat out see what you guys are saying Ooh, let me dry this is this dry I don't want my iPad on nothing wet is this wet all right just a little bit just a little bit Let me dry this a little bit. I got to dry this. I, you know what? Let me just wipe this down. I got to wipe this and dry this just to make sure. Because I'm going to be putting down the stuff for the giveaway down here. And I don't want anything to mess anything up. Okay. All right. All right. That's clean now. All right, so let me check out the chat, and I'll finish finish the chat with you guys, and then we'll do a giveaway. All right, let's see. Um, Rosie says she's looking forward to next week. Thank you. Hey, Native Educator, how are you doing? Welcome in. Okay, uh, Wayne, could you possibly do a cherry blossom stencil or even a branch with dyed paper flowers over the top? Just a thought, Patricia. Okay, I think you guys are talking about something between each other. Okay. Okay, let me see. Adrian said those should be printables. Which one should be printables, Adrian? Rosie said those symbols are all unique. Thank you. Hey, Jerry, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Patricia says those characters are so cute. Thank you. Agent says that'll be cool with that writing. Thank you. Native educator says yes. Thank you. Native is a good way to acknowledge us. Oh, I'm so... that You don't understand how happy that makes me that you said that because... I just like to respect all cultures and all people. And so when I hear um, 
when I heard uh, the gentleman who's native say that, I thought, oh, okay. I thought I was doing good by saying uh, Native American, but no, that's not right. So then I learned and I changed. So <coughs> very good. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get some water. Okay. So very good Native educator. I'm glad that I'm, I'm saying it right. I'm saying it correctly. Uh, Jerry says, love the symbols. Thank you. Okay. Candace, have I? No, I haven't. Welcome, Candace. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Glad to have you here. It's okay, Jerry. You got in here. You got in. You got in. No problem. Okay. Rosie says it looks like Japanese writing. Okay. It doesn't look like Japanese. Okay. You know what I'm going to do is the next time I go to that grocery store, I'm going to make sure I figure it out. If it's a Japanese, if it's Chinese, or if it's something else. So right now we'll say Asian, but I'll, I'll get that figured out the next time I visit um, the, the Asian grocery store that's in Chinatown. Because just because it's in Chinatown don't mean it's Chi it's it's Chinese. It could be Japanese. You know what I'm saying? So I need to uh, make sure. Okay, I'm just going through chat here. <laughs> Deborah says she likes the sound of paper cutting. <laughs> Nellie says I'm loving that. Thank you very much. Wayne says, gluing is very zen. Isn't it? I just love gluing stuff down. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Adrian says, we need some guys. Wayne, do some videos. <laughs> yeah, Wayne, do some videos. <laughs> I love Wayne. Wayne goes, Timmy's got nothing on me. <laughs> Wait, where's my thing? Um... Wayne, that was a good one. I'm going to blow my thing. <laughs> that was a good one. Timmy ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> I love that. He sure doesn't have nothing on you. You go, Wayne. Go, Wayne. It's your birthday. Go, Wayne. It's your birthday. <laughs> okay. I think I went through all the chat. Wayne says, what will you do with this collage once it's dry? Sorry if I missed it before. Oh, it's okay. Um, Deborah said, awesome artwork. Thank you. Okay. Um, Wayne, what I'm going to do is, uh, this is a series of, um, a series that I'm doing of maps of peace is what I call them. And um, I think I'm, this is my seventh or eighth one. I want to do maybe 15 to 20 of them. And then I will be making prints and I'll put them in my Etsy shop. Also, I think I'm going to do like a, um, I'm going to have like an art gallery, but it's going to be online. So like, like, um, just do like, like a little art gallery, like little thing where I put all of my art together and then put it on like Instagram and then run it on Facebook. So it's, it's a thought in my head. So, um, I have to kind of get that together but they will be um prints made of these and then put into my etsy shop thank you angie i appreciate it okay so let me put the ipad up here and we are going let me get the stuff together you guys talk amongst yourselves for a second i'm going to look through my bag of uh goodies so we can do a giveaway and while i'm looking through the bag of goodies um the rules for the giveaway are, I hate rules, but we have to have a couple rules to kind of keep things kind of uh, fair and even. Um, for the giveaway, it's one number only. Um, I'm going to guess a number between 1 and 20, because that's how many people we have here. And um, whoever comes, either gets the number, guesses the number, or comes the closest rounding up like in money we round up right whoever comes closest rounding up wins or the person who guesses the number wins um if someone okay oh, what was the other thing i was going to say um 
I always, okay, I, I, I will call the giveaway after, you know, a few minutes. And after I call it, if somebody's number comes up again, uh, comes up after I call it, we'll count it because there is a lag in chat. Um, if you win the first time, you can't play the second time. We've actually had somebody who won the first and the second time. Crazy, huh? You wouldn't think that would happen, but it happened. Um, and I think that's all the rules. And if there's any other ones, we'll handle them as they come along. But that's the main, that's the main thing. But I have to first, you guys, talk amongst yourselves. Because I have to first gather up all of the giveaway stuff. It'll take a second. Just a second. All right. I got my basket of goodies here. Got my basket. Okay, we'll go through this. It'll take two seconds. This is my, um, it, I'm not giving away the folder. People want the folder all the time. <laughs> but I'm not giving away the folder. It's the, my printables are in there. So let me take my printables out. This is the printables for, these are the printables that I had for June and they're in my Etsy shop. I didn't have ones for July because I got behind in July, but we will have printables for August. But anyway, these are the printables that we're going to give away. I'll go through and show you guys those printables in a second. Let me just make room. I got, I got stuff everywhere. Okay. So that's one of the giveaways. Now, these are downloadable printables, so I will give you a link of how to download these for free if that's what you choose if you win, okay? The next thing is I've used these. If you've watched when I've done jelly printing, I use these on the jelly plate as in, as um, as texture plates. They're fabulous on the jelly plate. A set of these, that could be one of the winnings for you to choose from. Also, jelly printing. I use these for jelly printing also as for texture plates. One of them I like to leave whole, and this one I like to cut up, like cut it up so it's like only like maybe three rows, and then cut the next one so it's wider, cut the next one so it's wider, cut one so that it's square. So you can make like six or seven texture plates out of one plate, plus use this one as a whole one. So that's also another giveaway, okay? So there's another thing for the giveaway. Um, this is my artwork on a journal that I made. So, this is really cool. I kind of call this collage on steroids. <laughs> so, I made, so I just took my um, artwork and put it on top of this journal. Okay, so that's another giveaway item. Um, what else? I've got a couple more things. This is pretty cool. This is a um, sketch card mania. How to create your own original collectible trading cards. So, it's basically how to create your own... Um, what do we call those here on YouTube? Those little cards. What are they called? Those little art cards. Oh, I can't think of the name of them. But this is pretty cool. So there's a book on that. That's another prize for the giveaway. And... Oh, we'll throw these. Okay, we got enough stuff here. Let me throw one more thing at you. These are so cute. Look at... Aren't those cute? I love these. I got these at Dollar Tree. Oh, and also, I got, let me show you what else I got at Dollar Tree. I got these at Dollar Tree. These are found in the kids section. They're base plates. So if you're looking for these and you want to use these on your jelly plate, fabulous. These are also in the kids section. They're called Bubble Snap Pops if you want to shop for these at Dollar Tree. So, um, this I actually got at Dollar Tree too, but this was like a few years ago. So, um... Okay, let me, so, and so anyway, these, aren't these cute, these two little journals? So these two together as a prize also to choose from. So any of these things you can choose to win, okay? Not the whole thing, you choose. Choose this, choose that, choose this, choose that. And let me go through and just show you really quickly the, um, what am I going to show you? My printables. All right, just so I can kind of spray everything else so you guys can see everything. Okay, so these are the printable, my printables. I'm gonna go through them really quick. These are all jelly prints. See, now I was talking about my intuitive writing and symbols. These are this is my intuitive language, intuitive symbols. Okay, and it's on jelly printing. Another jelly print. And this whole set is in my Etsy shop. Um, five, you get five sheets for two dollars and fifty cents, and you print them off yourself. I'll have to show you guys this technique of how I do these. These are simple. This is my jelly print and um a uh, 
stencil, a mask stencil. Again, and my jelly prints, I don't make them to look like perfect jelly prints. I make them to look like old walls, okay? Old walls, old doors. I want everything to look like, it, like I dug it out of the ground. <laughs> That's my style. That's, I don't know. That's what I like. Same thing. This right here is this. Look how cool. This right here is that. Isn't that cool, you guys? I love that. Again, my jelly print, and this is my intuitive language, where you make, I make up my own, my, just my own language. My own language, my own symbols. Again, jelly print with intuitive writing that I did. This is cool. These are, in, these are intuitive symbols I'm, that I did on a jelly print. Looks like an old wall, doesn't it? And then like some graffiti. Okay. More of my jelly prints. Jelly prints with intuitive symbols again. More of my intuitive language and symbols on jelly prints. And then this is a jelly print here. And then that's a, a hand-drawn Coco Pelli by me on a jelly print. Okay. So that is my ass. All right. So let me just see if anyone wants to tell me anything else and then we'll do the giveaway. I'm going to write a number down. So don't, don't do anything yet. When I say go, go, but don't go yet. Okay. And I will be, I'm not, I haven't written it down yet, but I'll write a number down on this. Okay. All right. Let me see if anyone has anything else to say. That's it, Patty. Thank you. Artist trading cards. So this is just like a, a book on telling you how to make artist trading cards. Okay. Thank you, Adrian. Adrian said, got a lot of new people. Watch her playlist. Thank you, Adrian. You're very sweet. Thank you. And Angie gave a thumbs up. Thank you. So You're so sweet. Thank you. Uh... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Artsy Girls saying thumbs up. Can you guys, can everybody hit their thumbs up right now? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Wayne says, very cool. That sounds freaking awesome. <laughs> Angie RC, I love how the collage is turning out. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So, um, how many people do we have? We have 22 people. So, um, I'm going to write down a number, 1 through 22. Don't go yet. Let me write the number down. Okay, I wrote down the number. Go. Everyone put their number in. Go. There we go. Very good. And anybody who won, who won last weekend or la won last Sunday, I just got your stuff off uh, Friday. I usually send stuff out every Friday. So I just got your stuff out Friday. So you'll be getting your stuff sometime this coming week. Just to let you know if anybody's here who won last weekend. I try to wait till Thursday or Friday to mail stuff out because um, my husband usually has stuff for his business that needs to be mailed out. And I like to just go once a week. So that's what... That's what I have to do. Okay. It looks like everybody... Okay, people are still going. Okay. Northern Snowbird said, Angie, not that kind. The one that are a solid block of silicone from the art department. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what you're talking about. The ones that are the solid block of silicone from the... Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have... Um, I do have some of those somewhere. I know what you're talking about. Those would make good for uh, for spreading glue. I know what you're talking about now. 
I have those. I haven't used mine for a long time. I usually use when like the thick um like um modeling paste and stuff. Oh. I usually use that for my modeling paste, but that would be good. Like this. Northern Snowbird, something like this. But this is what you put. Oh, I got this from Dollar Tree. You put like a facial mask on, but it's silicone and it looks something like this, right? This would be really good to put on the glue, to spread glue with. But like I said, there it's really made for um, mask. You put mask on your face, but I, I but I was using it for um, like texture paste and stuff. Did Patricia pick a new number? Okay, good. Okay. Okay, yeah, Northern Snowbird said right. Okay, gotcha, girl. Gotcha. Okay, you guys, I'm going to call it. Calling it right now because I think that that's it. Okay, so I'm going to call it. If something comes up in the next few seconds, we'll accept it because, like I said, there's a lag in chat. Okay, I'm calling it now. I'm going to show you guys my number. My number is number eight. So whoever got number eight or closest to eight. So let me look through. Let my look through. Okay, so far I think Artsy Girl got it because uh, I did number eight, right? And she's closest to eight rounding up with nine. Okay, Artsy Girl, you won. Yay, Artsy Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Archie girl, um, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, let me move this out of the way so you can see the choices. Okay, let me see what Archie girl is saying that she wants. Everyone's saying, congrats, Artsy Girl. Yay. Okay, Artsy Girl, what do you want to get? Uh, oh, my God, your journal. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so you get this journal. Okay, so let me write Artsy Girl on here. And um, these journals right here are in my, um, are in my Etsy shop, so... There are $10 in my Etsy shop, so if you do want one of these, you can still get one in my Etsy shop. Okay, um, Artsy Girl, there you go. All right, so let's do one more giveaway. Let me write down, what do we got now? We got 25 people. All right, so let me write down, let me, don't go yet, you guys. Uh, let me write another number down. All right, we got a number. Okay, one through 25, go. Let's start seeing the numbers. You're welcome, Archie girl. You're the bomb. You're the bomb. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll wait a couple more seconds. The chat has stopped, but let's just wait a minute. Did Angie G pick a new number? Okay, I guess I won't call it yet because I still I still see numbers going. <laughs> and did Angie G, did she, she pick a new number? Let me see. Okay, cool. Angie picked a new, a new number. Okay. Okay, so let's just give it another couple seconds. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Let's wait another couple of seconds to see if another number comes through. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call it, you guys. And I see that I see the winner already. The number is 13. And guess who got 13? I saw it on here. Who got it? Uh, Wayne got it. Let me make sure nobody. Okay, make sure that that was. Yeah, Wayne got it. Number 13. Congratulations, Wayne! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, Wayne! So, Wayne, what did you want out of the, out of all the prizes? What what's your choice, Wayne? <laughs> Wayne's so cute. He's all holy cow, man! <laughs> He's like, my first time to the live and I win. <laughs> okay, Wayne, so what 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 do you want? Just kind of spreading stuff around so you can make sure you can see stuff. All right, so we're just waiting for Wayne. While Wayne's deciding what he wants, um, so just a quick couple of quick announcements. Um, you guys, I do have a, a, a Facebook group called Our Magical Little Place. In about a half an hour, there'll be a clickable link in the description. I'd love for you guys to all come and join. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. Mixed media, knit, crochet, junk journals, art journals. It doesn't matter. Come share with us in the group. Um, also, um, if you have an Etsy shop, if you go live, if you have a YouTube channel, if you make tutorials, you can come give us a link in the group okay uh whatever you make whatever you create doesn't matter what it is come share with the group come give us inspiration and um, it's a lot of fun in the group also um like i said i have angie's yarn party for knitters and crocheters fi fiber fiber artists or just people who just want to come and talk and have fun um every friday 8 30 a.m pacific time and then i go live again like today every sunday two o'clock p.m angie's art party um, on Thursdays, I have a knitting podcast that's not live. It just comes out. It's a knitting and crochet podcast. And I think that's everything. And I have an Instagram, a Facebook, a regular Facebook, Instagram, all of that. Oh, I have two Instagrams. I have one Instagram shows my artwork. The second Instagram, um, is for my knitting and for, um, my, um, planners. I do planner spreads and I put those on there. So if you'd like, you can click, there'll be clickable links to all of this information below and you guys can click on any of that stuff. And also my Etsy shop, there's a clickable link below if you want to go to that. Okay, that's everything. All right, let's see what uh, Wayne wants. I'm a jelly printing. <laughs> okay, Wayne says, I'm a, jelly, I'm a jelly printing horror. I'll take the bubble poppers. <laughs> There you go, Wayne. These are yours. Let me put your name down here. Now, Wayne, what you need to do is, um, I don't have your address. So, in about 30 minutes, um, I will have below this video a link to my Etsy shop. Hit that clickable link. It'll take you to my Etsy shop. In the right-hand corner, there'll be contacts. And you can leave your address there, okay? Going to my Yahoo, it don't work, clickable links. And it's just, there's too much stuff going to my email. Um, um, if you want to, if you want to contact me before 30 minutes, before I can get to putting all this information in the description box of this video, you can go to any of my videos and there's a link to my Etsy shop. So either way. Okay. So congratulations. Yay. So these are on their way to you, Wayne. We'll put that for you. You won that. Let me just see what everybody is saying. Everyone's just saying thank you. We love you. Too. We, I love all of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Artsy Girl, for being so sweet and being my moderator and keeping keeping things straight and helping me out. I appreciate it. Very good, Wayne. Very good. And congratulations to the winners. And thank you guys all for coming and joining and spending a couple of hours with me. I totally appreciate it. Love all of you guys. I'm kissing all of you guys. And um, so fun. So fun. I will see you guys, all of you guys, next, hopefully, next Sunday, 2 o'clock Pacific time, same time, same place. All right. See you guys then. Love you. Bye. Thank you, Wayne. Bye.